good morning everyone today uh, i am going to continue the the, uh, the lesson civilization and cities we we'll continue the lesson civilization 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 and cities in this lesson uh, we have studied till uh, seals now uh, i'll start lesson from page number 28 harappan faith and beliefs okay harappan faith and beliefs now how presently now how we believe on a god like that way even during harappan time and mohenjodaro time they even they were believing some gods okay so uh, they were uh, they were they had a religious beliefs okay so probably they were worshiping the trees and animals they were worshiping trees and animals and even uh, there was a um, women deity called uh, mother goddesses the image of mother goddesses 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 so uh, they were worshiping many trees animals and mother goddesses that image is there in your in your book page number 31 in between middle they have given that image they have given now i'll show you i'll show you the image so can you see this middle one this middle one ha huh, this is the image of mother goddesses so this uh, this was uh, discovered or founded in the when they excavated they excavated the, uh, the harappan sites that that time they founded that uh, image so it shows that they were worshiping that mother goddesses okay then uh, even uh, even they believed uh, the life after the death after this even they were be, they had a belief on a uh, life after the death so what they were doing after uh, the person dies with the dead body what they were doing they were buried they were buried in, with the dead body they were buried in other uh, ornaments jewelries and uh, pots whichever things they require for regular uses for a regular uses purpose whichever things they require material all those pots galleries so everything pots ornaments and all they were buried in, buried in with the dead body okay so that that culture they had now uh, now we go to next part that is uh, lothal this lothal is also one of the important place where when the historians they excavated this their lothal in the lothal they found some evidences regarding harappan civilization so that here uh, they have found some uh, precious stones some semi precious stones were available in in this lothal this lothal place comes in the gujarat this lothal comes in gujarat it comes in Gujarat. Okay, so it is very, uh, very near to Gulf of Khambe. Okay, it is near to Gulf of Khambe. Okay, and then here, what happened in Lothal? Uh, the, uh, there, there is a one small, huge tank. About a uh, huge tank is there. Maybe have been a uh, dockyard. Okay, huge tank is there uh, in the present. It is there in the Lothal. So during the Harappan time, maybe it was a dockyard. It was a dockyard, and even they were uh, they knew the how to uh, knew about the ships and boats. They were using ships and boats also. Boats through the ships and boats. Uh, through this ships and uh, boats, uh, there were means, uh, many ships and boats were uh, were coming from ocean and from through the river. They were coming to this dockyard. So that uh, some uh, evidences were found in Lothal. So this is what uh, it means, and some even some seals also they found it in the Lothal. So after this, we'll go to next, next, next place that is called Bhiran. Bhiran. It comes in Haryana. Haryana. This is also another one important place 
where uh, uh, where they got uh, evidences or proofs about about the Mahindragupta and Harappan civilizations. Okay, the Harappan sorry Harappan civilization. Here uh, uh, the Archaeological Survey of India, the Department of Archaeological Survey of India. That department what did it? They excavated the land uh, in between 2003 to 2006. In between 2003 to 2006. Six. They excavated the land. So that time they they found many uh, precious uh, pots, okay, uh, which were even pots and a thick uh, red color reddish pots. On that red pots, uh, some um, design, some uh, this uh, the uh, uh, this the dancing girl designs images. The dancing girl image is uh, engraved on those uh, on those uh, uh, thick. Uh, red color mud pots on that so it is given in page number 21 uh, here up you can see up you can see so there is a red color um, pot vessel on that vessel they have um, they have engraved the dancing girl image okay so such evidences they have found and even in this uh, in this what happened in this all uh, discovery dr ls rao dr ls Rao played a very important role. He is also one of the uh, uh, archaeologists. Archaeologists means those who excavate the excavate those who participate in excavations and those who do do the research on history. They they are called a archaeologists. Those who study about monuments, okay, and uh, whatever they get uh, about uh, in evidences about the history. So the whoever uh, means they study. So those people are called a archaeologists. So L L L S Rao, he was also one of the archaeologists. So according to him, he what he said, you know, uh, he said that we have strong evidence for the first time an uh, unbroken culture sequences. Okay, uh, starting from the village culture to uh, and its evaluation gradually into semi-urban and urban cultures till the site was finally abundant. Means from village to uh, uh, village to semi-urban and urban. So how that uh, the village converted into a semi-urban and then semi-urban to urban? How it developed? All that strong evidences they found, they got in this place, in this place. Okay, Bhiran. Here they found that evidences. Okay, and then uh, now uh, some and even uh, even that uh, they have found some uh, some places where uh, those people were staying. They were staying in the uh, staying in a circular pits cut into the soil. They were lived in a circular. They lived in they lived in a circular. They lived in circular circular pit pits cut in the pits pits cut into the pits cut into the soil. Into the soil. So, so what this way uh, in the soil, in the uh, some in this mud in the soil, they cut it into the circle way, and in that that hole, a big hole, they were removing in that hole. They were going and they were staying. Okay, Harappan people they were staying in this uh, in circle uh, pits. In that pits they were living. Okay, so those uh, evidence also uh, they uh, they found it in the Bihar and even. They found uh, many uh, type of evidences, like a uh, example, like uh, house complexes on on uh, streets, lanes, fortification, fortification wall, uh, and uh, bichrome. Bichrome. Bichrome means uh, having two colors. Bichrome means having two colors. Having two colors. Having two colors means they were using two colors. On the uh, on the mud vessels, they were applying red color. On the red color, they were using black color to make a designs. Okay, two colors they were using: red color and black color. The red color for applying on the vessels. On the red color, they were using black to make a designs. Okay, and even there were many potteries they found, and terracotta vessels, bowls, cups, and arrowheads, fish hooks. Bangles, which were made by uh, copper, and uh, terracotta toys, cards, and some animal figures they found. 
animal figures and some beads they got and some important precious uh, stones they got example like a uh, example like a fians lapis lazuli agate and carnelian okay so those important precious stones they found it and even some important uh, seals also which were made up from uh, statite 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 uh, so these uh, these are the evidences they found in in iran okay so that's why uh, the ls rao told that that they have founded a very strong uh, evidences from village to uh, till organization how they developed everything the evidences they got okay so this way what happened uh, uh, this way uh, they have uh, they have given information regarding iran harappan culture and then next we go to decline of the civilization how this civilization declined okay decline decline so there are uh, four important points they have given for the uh, decline of the civilization but see the historians they have uh, they have a some uh, this means they have imagined okay because we can't tell exactly that what happened with them and why those civilizations were destroyed uh we uh, and some because of that we can't tell because we were not that time so now uh, here present it is imagination they have made our indian historians archaeologists and according to the our archaeologists they have made four points in that uh, they uh, what happened the over and over again was rebuilt the that uh, the civilizations the excavations reveal the mahenjadaro excavations reveal again and again and totally nine nine times a uh, nine times what happened it was the cities were rebuilt nine times the cities were rebuilt so that's why this is also one of the reason of uh, I means this is one of the reason that uh, the maybe the civilization is destroyed and the second point uh, maybe because of floods natural calamities because of pandemic uh, epidemics okay ep ep epidemics even this is also one of the reason of declining the uh, civilization third reason is uh because of uh, maybe the rivers river they changed their routes during the uh, war, during rainy season and maybe otherwise uh, maybe the uh, the land become dry and infertile so that's why they they left that place and they went to other place okay so this is also um, also one of the reason may okay uh, not sure M maybe okay then fourth one is foreign invasions means foreigners maybe they they uh, attack on these uh, cities on these civilizations and they and uh, because of the invasion on attacking on this civilization maybe this uh, civilizations were declined so these are the uh, in, that four uh, important causes maybe because of this happened because of this these civilizations were declined okay so now uh, but what happened from these civilizations from harappan civilization from mohenjodaro civilizations we uh, like uh, we like, we got some heritage we like uh, those civilizations have left behind a heritage of harappan uh, culture uh, which we really feel proud to us so these civilization whatever the heritage culture monuments uh, whatever the uh, the fossils they have left that is uh, that is really uh, like a uh it is really gives a proud to us and because uh, these all the uh, civilizations flourished in our uh, nation in north western part you know the north you know already that thing that the, these uh, civilizations flourished northern north western part so uh, this this is why it is it is also one of the proud thing to get um, uh, such uh, civilizations were were uh, present during the uh, 3000 sorry 4500 years old history we have so this is really a proud thing for us okay next we go to your page number page number 30 30 you can see here uh, they have given the here the image they have given about the egyptian civilization pyramids image they have given okay so the great urban civilization flourished in egypt on the bank of river nile so this egyptian civilization Egyptian civilization. Okay, 
see so this existing civilization uh, it is it is developed because of nile river because of nile river the nile river is just the gift of egypt the nile river is gift of egypt because of the nile river uh, the uh, the egyptians enjoyed the fert uh, fertility uh, the land was fertile okay fertile fertile and that's why what happened the egyptian people were developed because of the nile river okay in agriculture they developed agriculture also developed agriculture so this way what happened so nile river it was like a boon to egyptian people okay so they have totally uh, they uh, they were uh, uh, around 3000 to 1000 bc uh, old history they are having they are having around 3000 to 3000 to 1000 bc huh? uh, old uh, history they are having about egyptian civilization okay so here uh, uh, here you can see the uh, the egyptian kings egyptian kings they were called a pharaohs egyptian kings kings were called pharaohs pharaohs okay they were called as pharaohs pharaohs okay egyptian kings were called pharaohs and uh, here the zoser pharaoh zoser zoser pharaoh pharaoh zoser he uh, he was uh, means uh, during his time the first uh, first during his time the first pyramid was constructed during his time the first pyramid so during his time uh, during the just a minute i'll show you during the during his time okay during the uh, zozo's time here d is silent here d becomes silent okay zozo zozo pharaoh so during his time the pyramid was constructed okay so this uh, uh, this this way what happened uh, this lesson is going to finish in like this and this now what do you do just uh, uh, just you go through the lesson and uh, search so whatever the questions given after the lesson at least see, see the question and search answer for the lesson and whatever difficulties you, you will face means if you not understand any answer you can say, uh, you can ask in doubt section i'll clear your doubts till then we will meet uh, in next class with a new lesson